Hey folks, thanks for joining me. We are going to learn this run for cover solo uh, as played by Kenny Garrett uh, from the performance with the Marcus Miller Band. I got this camera right here. It's going to be showing the overhead uh, performance while I teach the solo how to play it on keys. We're going to learn it on keys and we're going to learn it on saxophone, specifically the alto. And we're going to learn this four bars at a time. Over here I got my little app task queue kind of showing what's going to be happening. In each of these videos, I'm going to just break down four bars at a time. When we get to the end of this series, we will have learned the whole solo, which this is going to be rad because it's such a great solo. It's one of my personal favorites, mainly because Kenny is just so confident in all the notes that he ends up playing, just the choices that he makes harmonically. When does he take it out? When does he keep it bluesy? When does he keep it pentatonic? Just everything about it is just... There's just so much conviction in all the stuff that he's doing and... It's one of the traits I wish I had in my playing, and I'm hoping to get a little bit of it when I am learning this solo. So that's the goal of this whole process, and also to kind of show off this task queue thing that I made over here. Hopefully you'll get a nice little vibe for what it's useful for. With that said, we are going to learn it four bars at a time. We're going to start out with it on keys. Uh, I'm going to do... Uh, we're going to learn the notes and the harmonic function of the notes within the context of the song. The song's just in um, E minor. Uh, we're going to learn the fingering so we can play it, and then we're also going to learn the rhythm that goes with it. And we're going to do this four bars at a time, so as we do each thing, we're going to check it off. And then slowly, you can see we are slowly accumulating all the things we need to get done before we can say that we've actually completed it. So that's one of my features that I... Well, that's one of the things I really like about this app that I wrote. It really makes it easy to break down some project or whatever that you're working on and make it into actual digestible steps. Like if I was trying to learn this solo and I didn't have any sort of plan for it, it would be difficult. But by breaking it down into these uh, four bar chunks and then saying, all right, I'm just gonna learn the notes themselves. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start after I learn the note names, I'm gonna learn the fingerings. And then after I learn the fingerings, I'm gonna learn the rhythm. And then I'm gonna learn to play it along with the track. If I break it down that way, it's much more manageable and I can actually get through it and I can pick it up a lot quicker than if I just were to just kind of dive in with no plan of action whatsoever. Okay, so with that said, we are going to dig in. We have not learned bars 5 through 8 and we have not learned bars 1 through 4. So we need to uncheck that and we're going to dig on dig in on those guys first. And after we get through these 16 bars of the solo, we're going to tackle the bridge because the bridge is a lot simpler than the rest of the tune. Okay, let's dig in. <laughs> 